grade language lesson 27. So I am going to read to you guys a little article or a little bit of information about bandicoots, okay? So I, as I'm reading, I want you to listen to some details about bandicoots. Listen to some pretty good details. See how many details you can come up with as I'm reading about bandicoots, listening closely. Oops. A bandicoot is an Australian nocturnal animal. A bandicoot looks like a rat with a pointed nose, small ears, and thin tail. The name bandicoot even came from the Indian name for a large rat. These animals, however, are more like a rabbit than a rat. They have strong hind legs that help them jump rather than run. Because they are marsupials, the mother bandicoot carries her babies in a pouch until they are old enough to take care of themselves. Bandicoots are omnivores, eating both plants and meats. They like to eat insects, nuts, berries, and other treats they find on the ground. Many larger animals, including foxes, would like to eat a bandicoot, so bandicoots stay hidden during the day in grassy overgrown areas. You will probably never see a bandicoot in the wild, but you can still enjoy learning about this interesting nocturnal animal. All right, so I just read to you about bandicoots. So I am going to need for you to get out your language book and open your language book to page 29. Put your name and date at the top of page 29 and tear, nope, you wouldn't tear that page out. Leave that page in your book. Name and date at the top. You may pause the video while you do so. All right, so if you notice on page 29, you have some bubbles on your paper. In the middle of your bubbles, I want you to write the word bandicoot. And this information that I read to you about bandicoot the details, we're going to write one detail about the bandicoot in each little circle coming off bandicoot. All right, so now I'm going to just pretend I can hear you guys talking to me, okay? So what one detail do you remember about bandicoots? Oh, you remember that it is a nocturnal animal. Yes, it is. So in my first bubble right here, I am going to write nocturnal. It is a nocturnal animal. So in your first little, in the middle, you should have bandicoot. And a bandicoot is a nocturnal animal. Do you remember what nocturnal means? That they're active only at what? At night. Good job. Okay, so another detail about a bandicoot. Yes. They are, they are a marsupial. Absolutely, a bandicoot is a marsupial. Now, fifth graders are learning what marsupials are now. Do any of you guys know what a marsupial is? I talked about it in the reading. They carry their babies in a pouch in their stomach like a kangaroo. A kangaroo is a marsupial or an, or an opossum. So a marsupial, M, I don't know if y'all can see my writing, M A R. S-U-P-I-A-L. M-A-R-S-U-P-I-A-L. And if you go back to nocturnal, check your spelling on there. It's N-O-C-T-U-R-N-A-L. What other details might you have remembered from our reading? Do you remember where they live at? Yes, they come from Australia. Very good. So up here we will write Australia, capital A-U-S-T-R-A-L-I-A, -A -A, Australia. Very good. And we need one more detail. They have strong back what? Yeah, they have strong back legs, so we can write that in our last one. Now if you guys thought of a different detail, other than what I did, you please feel free to write the details that you remembered in your, ooh, I'm about to knock my phone over, 
you be sure be free to write the details that you remember in your circles, okay? All right, so now what you're going to do is if you, you look at Think B, it says write one declarative sentence about bandicoots. So you're going to find one of your words that you have written about bandicoot, marsupial, nocturnal, Australia, strong back legs, and you are going to write a declarative sentence using one of your bubbles, the words in your bubbles, okay? Number two, it says write one exclamatory sentence about bandicoots. So using the words from one of your bubbles, you will write an exclamatory sentence. And then section three, it says write one interrogative sentence about something you still want to know about bandicoots. I just did not tell you enough. There's something else that you need to know about bandicoots. So you write an interrogative sentence. Now remember our declarative sentence, number one, is going to be a complete thought that starts with a capital letter. Sentences begin with capital letters and end with a period because it is declarative. Your exclamatory sentence is going to be one complete thought. Not a whole bunch of things all jumbled together. One complete thought. It's going to begin with a capital letter and it's going to end with an exclamation point. And then your interrogative sentence, because I just didn't give you enough information, is going to be a complete thought that begins with a capital letter and ends with a question mark. Very good, guys. You guys do your best work on that. Now, yesterday I forgot to ask you to tear out page 20 or page 28, 27, and 28. So if you could, remote students, be sure and tear that out and have that in your packet. And then you guys who, um, I'll have to get yours when you're back in the classroom, okay? All right, good job, guys.